Tyco invested in Jasper County in 2004, and now it has continued to grow in this area in Ridgeland. With me now is the COO of Tyco and this fabulous facility, uh, Jim Grooms. Welcome. Good to Thank have you. you with us. And congratulations. Thank you. I mean, a lot going on today. Yeah, a lot going on. We're building lots of trucks. This is our Tyco terminal tractor. It's called a Pro Spotter. Right. Lots of different industry names, yard tractors, shifters, jockeys. But essentially, this works heavily at the ports, intermodal, and at uh, warehouses across the country. You've been here a year, and from what I understand, it made quite a few changes to make it more streamlined, more efficient. Yep. We, when I first got here, we engaged with South Carolina uh, Manufacturers Extension Partnerships, SCMEP, mm -hmm. and they've supported us along the way in really trying to redesign the plant with lean concepts in mind, really turning it around so that we could get our production up to meet our capacity. So let's talk about workforce. Um, one time, 100 people, now you're over 300? Over 350. So we have a lot of local workforce. We're really proud of Jasper County and the surrounding counties that make up our workforce. We end up having folks come straight out of high school. We've hired a lot of professionals out of the local colleges. Mm -hmm. So we're building a workforce here, part of that Tyco brand, that teamwork that makes it, makes it happen. And you provide on-site training, so it's very intense. Yeah, we, a lot of times we try to find uh, those individuals that really just want to work hard mm -hmm. and come in and they, they are committed to learning. And so we take them through a series of training to enable someone who's never been in manufacturing to be able to participate in manufacturing. So tell us about the future with the electric vehicles. So that's very exciting. We're, we're excited. You know, we, we view ourselves as Tyco, our customer's best move. And so we have all different types of power plants. We have gasoline, diesel. We're moving into the Tyco electric vehicle, a fully battery electric vehicle that will be built right on this line, just like every other tractor. So uh, very exciting for Jasper County that, that you were here, that you invested in this area, and it's been good to you. The area's been yeah. good. The area's been great. One thing that, that has helped us with SCA and SCMEP really has been to be able to invest into South Carolina across the state. So it's not just this plant here, it's the galvanizing, the metal fabricators, it's all the different industry that's coming to South Carolina that really makes this whole thing work for the state of South Carolina. And I guess in closing, why is Tyco such a forward-thinking company, very innovative, very on the high end of technology? Why is it such a, a, great, a great company for you? Again, coming here a year ago, well, I mean, the company's always had a, a very supportive owner that's been a forward thinker, a visionary in terms of how this company even got started. Right. And so those that DNA that came from the owner is kind of a part of how we operate. And so we are expanding into other uh, areas of the industry. And we, we probably are going to do more if we can just get a little bit more time. And he's pushing us to do more in different areas and bring more jobs in and different uh, ways to participate in the business. Well, good work. Thank yeah, you for everything thank you. you're doing for the community Wonderful. and for all the all the workers and, and the future. Thank Thanks, you. Jim. Yeah. With me now is Taylor Boykin. He's a project manager with the Southern Carolina Alliance, and he is over the project Tyco and this business and this fabulous company. So, wow, coming inside and actually seeing the the different trucks and tractors being built is pretty exciting. Yeah, we are excited to see the process. This is our first time in since they uh, rearranged the factory, right. uh, and they're doing really, really well and prospering in the community. So what, what is SCA's role when, it, when a company is, is coming to a county and then wanting to expand and grow? So what, what do you, how do you shepherd them and work with them? So our role is to introduce them to all the right people within the community from consultants to engineers to construction and also interface them with the state on incentives and really just kind of guide them through the process to make it as easy as possible for them to make the decision to come to South Carolina. So how how um, magnificent is it that this company is here in Jasper County? Jasper County's hot right now yes, and it's yes. going to be growing with the new EV, with the electric vehicles, yes, that's so right. that's pretty, pretty amazing, pretty exciting. So we are very excited about how Tyco has prospered within the region and really the workforce that they've been able to cultivate within the region and just truly make expansions and develop here in, um, in Jasper County. Very good. Well, thank you for your work and with SCA and 
again, shepherding this fabulous company. Thanks, yep. Taylor. Thank you.